Greetings and salutations, welcome back to my Cube World Gaming Session. And today, this is a special episode, we're gonna do like, a quest over here. And as you can see, I have, I have a big difference in my level compared to my second video. In my second video, I was like level 9 and now I'm at level 33 rogue with about 1000 HP. So I'm gonna show you guys my stats for a bit. There you go. And now let's get into this fight. Oh, they just defeated the alpaca boss. Oh man. Unholy spirit fight plus. Bread. Oh, okay. So the quest here, as you can see on the right, we have to defeat the ruler in Vargor Forest. So yeah. And if you guys been wondering about my absence, it's because you know. I had no internet for an entire week, so my uploads were delayed. So this will come out in about the 22nd or 23rd of September because I have three videos that I was supposed to upload last week. They are Sonic Omi, uh, Cube World Episode 2, and Reigns Episode 2. So yeah, let's get right into the gameplay. Oh, this is my favorite enemies. Let's go. Oh. Also, I got new arm, new stuff. Stop. There we go. So, I got new stuff. I got better gear than I currently had. Uh, I must give you guys some of them. Uh, here we go. Alright, so let's find the ruler of Vargor Forest. And I have learned the ability to ride my own pet rabbit. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, sorry about the lag once again. I still have a shitty PC. Oh, there we go. Can you see it on the map, the white skull? That's the, uh, that's the boss. Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh. Alright. Man, the FPS here is really killing me. Oh, there we go. I believe that is a giant. Oh, come on. Alright, let's take care of the minions first. So, once again, the blue name means the enemy is about uh, on par with your level. So it was, this is a, what do you call it, an even playing ground. Ah, oh, come on, stop. And I'm about to die too. But don't worry, I'm pro. Alright, so my strategy is to lure out this boss beetle. Yeah. Come on, come on. God damn you. Oh. Tango down. Let's get the big boss here. Come on. Come on. Come on, little boss. Come on, little boss. Come on, Garen. Garen! Let's take care of him first. Let's take care of this guy first. So yeah, drink potions. Use your ultimate skill. This is gonna be a long boss fight, I could tell. Oh, 
Ah. Yep, this is going to be one long episode. God dang it. Oh yeah, this boss hits hard. So yeah, this is basically what you do fighting a boss. Just have plenty of health potions and have like more than sufficient skills for the area you're about to, you know, fight the boss in. So keep stun locking him and heal while he's stunned because I will guarantee you almost a victory almost any time so yeah look at that oh my gosh so, yeah always keep an eye on your health because once you die the enemy goes back to full health Mind you, this is, these are my most powerful weapons so far. So, once again, heal. And go back to fighting. Man, like, like to make the game more challenging, maybe the boss should have an ability to call all nearby minions to help him. You know, but that would be in, the game would be too hard because in the beginning of the game it's hard for you to level up. Also, get away from that aura. Like my special attacks are doing the real damage here. Oh. Oh, almost died. Oh my goodness. So heal once again if you have the chance. And use your best abilities against this boss. Or any kind of boss in general. And when he does that ooh, attack, stun him as much as possible because that ability is like summoning a it's like an area of effect attack. And it does massive damage if you are in that area. So I suggest extreme caution. Oh, move away, move away, move away, move away. Uh. So yeah, you're gonna need like about a hundred potions if you're a beginner. But if you're me and you're used to it, uh, you know, a, dozen, a couple is enough or a dozen. So yeah, this boss is almost dead, finally. So I apologize if this turns out to be a short video. Because you know, with me, I'm busy with school. Oh! Move 
move away, move away, move away, move away. Like, you should dictate the pace of the battle. So the boss will be easier to defeat. That is... Come on. We're almost there. We're almost done with this quest. And then at the end, like, that would be basics of the quest system here in this cube world. Alright. Okay, this should be the last bit. The boss should die. And about a few more hits. Got him. So yeah, that's basically the quest system. After you finish a quest, depending on the level, you'll be rewarded with a platinum coin, which would be removed in the future update, as I heard from the creator itself. Uh, a random weapon, uh, a bunch of XP, uh, and you get the elemental spirit from the boss. So I just leveled up from that quest. So let's assign skills before we end this video. Let's see. I'm gonna upgrade my camouflage. That's my ultimate skill. Hmm. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, my dad is here, so raise those thumbs, subscribe for more, and see you guys in the next gaming session. This is Therapist Gaming, over and out. See you guys next time.